Hertel, you in there? Is this a fort? You used to make these all the time. These little forts. Make up a story about nuclear war and then crawl into your fort. Fallout shelter, whatever you called it. Take some little plastic army men with you and toy dinosaurs. And start the world all over again. You remember that? I do. Wow. Good for you, Van. Oh. I thought you were in there. Oh, well, that's a perfectly reasonable assumption. Yeah, I mean, you know, the place is only 40 acres or so. Where else would I be but crawling around under a sleeping bag pretending it's a fallout shelter and playing with dinosaurs? Of course. Last time I saw you, you were doing stuff like that. I saw the fort, I fell into an old thought pattern. The last time you saw me was yesterday. Well, that doesn't count. I had a lot of things going on. I saw a ghost. I didn't see you. Not really. Yeah, but you saw enough, didn't you? Enough to think that I'd be climbing around underneath some sleeping bag like a retard. Feel it. It's wet. I washed it. Yappy used to sleep on it. I washed it and I put it here to dry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up anything, to trigger anything. I, I know how hard this must be for you. You're seeing me. Shit. Still smells like dog. I want to apologize to you. Why? You didn't do it, did you? I want to apologize about last night. Save your breath, lady. <clears throat> You don't owe me anything. We are just two people who used to live in the same place at the same time once. Now, it's true, I do have a few things that belong to you. 23 of your chromosomes. However, I can't help you out with that. You can't have them back. Sorry. I don't know what else might be on your agenda today, but uh, I really don't feel like interfacing. I have a lot of work to do around here. I want to apologize for how we came in here yesterday. Our minds all made up, seeing nothing but dollar signs. Well, that is what made this country great. When Kay called me, told me you were still alive, I felt, I don't know, I felt numb. She told me the situation down here. What is the situation down here, Mom? What did Kay tell you? Yeah, you know, before I came here, I had convinced myself that seeing you again would be like, like something else. I didn't expect it to be, well, what it was. And what did you expect? I expected you to be worse. No, oh, what? What you expect to find me uh, walking around on all fours, hmm? barking like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Oh God! 
That make you happy? Now you got what you want now? You can steal this place out from under me and feel like you did the right thing all along? <laughs> yeah. Well. Wait, you guys got a kennel picked out for me yet? Oh, that's not fair! Uh, are, are we talking about fair now? Is fair all of a sudden important now? Where you been for the last 30 years, lady? Huh? Yeah, I counted them up last night. Where's Kay been for the last eight? Who took care of that pathetic old man? Wasn't you. Wasn't her. Shit, no. You two buzzards just come around when there's something to pick over. Acting all hurt and put out because I didn't give you a call first thing and tell you, hey, the old man's dead, left you a piece of the pie, one third share of 40 dried up, burnt out, useless acres full of little dead pets. Do you think it was an act of generosity on his part? Do you think that that was his way of telling you everything's okay from the grave? That was a joke. That was his one last swipe at you. Both of you. Only, the place was supposed to stay worthless. Wow. Guess the joke's on him, isn't it? Oh well. Fair's fair. You done? No. Yes.